हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज अनिल एंड इन दिस यूज एस थ्री ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट स्लॉट्स सो दीज आर द पॉइंट्स ऑफ आवर वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न व्हाट आर द स्लॉट्स हाउ वी कैन यूज देम एग्जांपल एंड एट द लास्ट वी विल डिस्कस सम इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर द स्लॉट्स सो स्लॉट्स आर अ टाइप ऑफ कंपोनेंट यू कैन से दैट टाइप ऑफ कंपोनेंट बट दे आर लिटिल बिट एडवांस देन ऑर्डिनरी कंपोनेंट इन ऑर्डिनरी कंपोनेंट you can reuse the values but you cannot make much more dynamic to these components for example so let's say you are you have a component with the name of user so whenever you will just get any student name or user name in that component you can easily display right but what happen when you get a big object or big array rather than a simple name that time you can make a, a more it dynamic uh, after writing some codes so but what actually happen when you get some image data and some html data in that component how you will handle that that time you have a limitation you cannot handle that kind of data right so let's see how we can handle this kind of data and how slots are overcome the limitations of components so let's start uh with the making a component so i am just creating a file with the name of child dot view and let me just create a template close this template script tag and close this script tag let me just close it like this now let's make a h1 tag like this and we can simply put here some text like a uh, child component or something fine there is a no issue and now we can export this component export default component name let's take a name key and we can put here child that's pretty simple there is a no issue everything is working great now uh we can import it in our home component so let's import child from child dot view and after that we can register this component in a components let me use a small c with the components it's not component and just register your child component great now i can just remove this uh, h1 tag and simply put here child like this and now you can see that this is working fine so we can reuse it there is a no issue if i just put it again and again this is working fine right great we can make it a dynamic also but till a limit so let's see how we can make a dynamic it so let me pass here a name let's say anil and uh, here again in a second component i can pass like sam and add a third one i can pass some other name like uh, pascal or all right working fine now in a child component we can just simply take a property with the name of props and uh, this a uh, property name is like name and it can be string this is the data type of props and uh, we can just simply uh show it like uh, display it like name and this is working fine great we can make it dynamic but now let's say uh, i have a lots of html to pass here so how i can handle it so let's see how we can handle it first of all let's uh, just close this tag like this right like a uh, html tags and pass some data i'm putting here just a h1 tag and let's put here code step by step right and now how we can receive it but here you can see that there is nothing to show but how we can receive for that you don't need these kind of props you don't need this h1 tag and all just simply use here slot tag right and uh, we can just close it slot like this and now let's see 
code step by step this is working fine so again in a second one what we can do here i can pass here something else like a h2 tag and i can put here some name like uh, anil siddhu and you will find that this is working great now we can pass some other things like uh, image also so let me take here a uh, image tag src and i already have a image we can simply use it like this and now let's see this is also working fine right so that's all that how we can just make them dynamic with our components with the slots right and here you can see that slots are little bit advanced than the normal components fine so let's talk about the interview question so might be uh, in interviews they ask that what actually happened if you just pass this uh, blank data right that time nothing will be happen you will so see nothing here so if i just remove first one also you will find there is nothing to display here so now they can ask that can we put here some default value if we are nothing get uh, getting in that component yes we can get here you can just put here default value like here default data or something right now you can see that if i am just passing something here so let me pass here uh, h1 tag again and let's say peter right you can see that first time this is a default value because there is nothing to send here and after that we are peter is working fine right so that way we can just put here some default values even we can use here some uh, large amount of uh, you can see that with, with the html data you can also put here some default values like this right so with that way we can use slots this is basically basic we will create one or two more videos on slots thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care